morning. This is Mr. Willie in West Virginia. It is June the 3rd. It is a Sunday. Uh, I have been in some meetings here of late with a missionary from the Nigeria, and uh, he spoke at Russian Winds last night and challenged us. So I'm going to challenge you. Uh, the challenge is, how much do you really pray? Uh, he is someone that's very, very knowledgeable of Muslim culture, where he's from. And uh, he explained to us last night that uh, this is Ramadan. I actually have a friend who is uh, getting ready to marry a fellow that's Muslim. And uh, during Ramadan, they fast and pray uh, from sun up to sundown. Uh, and uh, I forget how long this particular thing lasts. But I've always been fascinated with the fact that Muslims pray an awful lot. Um, I think they can pray up to five times a day. And uh, they have a place to go and pray. They, If they're somewhere mobile, they have mats where they lay out. And they will always, at the time of prayer, stop what they're doing. And they will pray. Scripture has been real clear. And I've shared this scripture before with you. Men ought to always pray and not faint. Um... I just want to challenge you all, as I've been challenged myself. Um, I like to believe I'm a man of prayer, that I pray a lot. But um, how much do you really pray? How much do we really stop what we're doing and honor God and turn our faces toward Him? Or how often are we just going about our day throwing up a quick, Hey, Lord, please do this for me. Hey, Lord, will you touch that person? Um, several weeks back, and I think I shared this in one of my videos, I was at my 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 health club, my, my gym. I was in the jacuzzi and uh, got to, the Lord got to speaking to me about some things. And one of the things was he, he told me to thank one of the workers that was going through. Um, so I, I stopped the guy and I said, hey, I said, I just want to thank you for Keep keeping this jacuzzi and this just gym clean. You know, I this makes it possible for me, for me not to have to go buy a jacuzzi, which is you know it's very costly to keep the upkeep and to take care of it. And uh, in in thanking him, that engaged him in conversation, and he began to share with me that he was having trouble with kidney stones, and uh, um, he had to have his wife come up and help him finish up the work because he was in so much pain. And uh, the Lord spoke to me sitting right there in the jacuzzi, said, "Pray for him." And I said, well, of course, Lord, I'll, I'll pray for him. And, he, and the Lord said, no, pray for him. And I knew exactly what God was doing. And I, this is not something I make a practice of, but I got it out of the jacuzzi. And I asked the gentleman, I said, do you believe in God? And he said, yes. I said, well, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a retired nurse, but I'm also a man of God. And I said, I know what kidney stones feel like. And I said, I want to pray. Well, would you let me pray for you? And I took him down a hallway away from the jacuzzi, and, and I just laid hands on him and prayed for him. And, you know, that fellow looked me in the eye the whole time that I prayed for him. And I prayed that God would dissolve that kidney stone and that he would be out of pain and that he would be relieved. And that was a prayer not for me. That was a prayer for him. That was a prayer to let him know that God cared about him. And I wanted so badly for him to be healed, not so that I wouldn't look like a crazy man, but so that he would be relieved. How often do we pray hoping that we'll look important, hoping that somehow people will believe that we are what we say we are, man of God or woman of God? Or how often do we pray honestly loving people, caring about people? See, you can stop and pray five times a day and not care about people around you. And that's the problem I have with uh, probably with the Muslim religion is that maybe some of them really don't care. And I, I, I can't look into the hearts of Muslims. I can't look into the hearts of Jehovah Witnesses. I can't look into the hearts of, Mus uh, of Mormons or, or any other religion. But I've hung out with some people who I know really care and who pray. Uh, some of the best times I've had has been with uh, some spirit-filled Catholic people uh, who were very serious about the Holy Spirit and about God. And man, they knew how to pray. How often do we really pray? How often do we really grab a hold of the altars of God and seek his face for a nation that's messed up? How often do we really, really intercede and war for our children's lives? 
for our marriages, for our government, for the people we work with. How often do we really pray? I worked in a school for nine years as a nurse, and uh, I can honestly say there were some days where I prayed f fervently because we have many, many little child. I, sp I worked with children. I worked from, from children that were in pre-K up to second grade, and, and there was another side of the building that had, f I think, from... Um, third grade to fifth grade or sixth grade, I can't remember exactly, but um, a lot of children, a lot of needs, and a lot of prayer. But honestly, I can't say that I, I, I sweat great drops of blood while I prayed. I can't say that I fervently prayed. Sometimes, sometimes it was just a quick prayer. Sometimes it was, you know, I mean, I have prayed for people, and I have prayed for people. How much are you praying? All right. Um, there's probably going to be some subject matter I'll be sharing from now on because I took some great notes last night. and There was just so much spiritual stuff, so much word that uh, uh, Pastor Obi threw out last night. Um, I hope if this ministers to you and I hope it challenges you as it challenged me last night. Um, if it has, pass it on, okay? Facebook, Mr. Willie, Willie Owens. On uh, YouTube, I'm Willie, Mr. Willie on YouTube. <laughs> I'm tired, sorry. Just woke up. And I've still got some, i got a letter to write and uh, get ready for our services this morning. So, hey, have a great day. I'll talk to you probably sometimes after lunch. All right? Hey, love you. But more importantly, God loves you. All right? Shalom.